Ahoy there, honey, I shrunk the Gretchener's. It's me, Gretchen, coming to you live from my bedroom. Slash, I just realized, not live. You are not watching this live, but it was live at the time of me recording it, so we're just going to let that slide. Um, I thought that I would record a little video log here for you so that you could, you know, hear my real voice, get to see me in all of my dorky action, and... I always find it really interesting to see if the blogger's real voice lines up in any way to the voice I kind of had imagined in my head. I find it very rarely does. So you'll definitely have to let me know in the comments if you imagined me having a higher voice, deeper voice, shriller voice, manlier voice, whatever the case may be. Um, right off the bat, let me just introduce you to my little video assistants. We have Daxy right here, Daxter Powell, reporting for duty fidgeting a little bit, but it's kind of his M.O. Hey guys! And over here is a sleeping Harry. Yeah, that's pretty much Harry's M.O. Harry, say hi! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, you may or may not notice that uh, I'm looking a little bit different than you may have seen in the past. I did in fact dye my hair, I alluded to that on Facebook a couple of days ago, but just did it last night, and um, in case you need a reference point, this is the before, uh, I was in fact blonde, you may remember, but as it turns out, blonde hair when your hair is naturally almost black is a little bit expensive to maintain. So I figured what with the fall coming on and everything like that, I would start going the, a little bit darker as things went along. I'm not 100% sold on this color. Uh, I got suckered in because the title of the hair dye was like almond paste or, okay, I'm sure it was something much sexier than the word paste, but you know, it was something having to do with almonds and, you know, I really liked the idea of my hair being almondy, but I don't know. I mean, one of the reactions that I got was, eh, it works, and it's not really the reaction I was going for, although my roommate Erin did squeal, which is kind of fun. <laughs> So we'll see what ends up happening, if it ends up staying or not. Well, for now, it's kind of fun, and you know, it definitely makes it feel like fall is impending, and I love the fall. Uh, you probably didn't listen to a single word I said after I said the word almond, however, because I am always getting a hard time um, about how I pronounce it. I am aware that most people would pronounce that word as almond. Uh, the other word that I tend to butcher is the word both. Uh, I guess I put an extra L in there. It's supposed to be both, which to me definitely seems it's a little too fancy. It's a little fancy for me. I'm going to add my extra L in there. But in general, I consider myself quite proud of the fact that I pronounce most words, you know, correctly. Like I say roof, um, I say milk. Uh, I don't even know other words that I would, you know, that kind of get categorized as being pronounced funnily. But that's kind of one of the things I get made fun of a lot. Um, I'm sure you're all really glad to have heard that. <laughs> it's just a little bit awkward for me to be talking to myself like this, just because I know I'm really talking to you, but obviously, really I'm just in a room by myself with my dogs talking about nothing, so I feel cool. <laughs> um, I actually think it's kind of hilarious that I am choosing to do a video log, because obviously this is my first time doing this, um, but my siblings will probably think it's hilarious as they are, besides myself, fully aware of exactly how vain and narcissistic I am. When I was younger, slash anytime I'm at my parents' house even now, they have this china cabinet that has a, a mirrored back, and somehow I always end up sitting right across from it. So it was kind of a running joke that anytime I would be at the dinner table talking, I wouldn't be looking at the person I was talking to, I would just be looking at myself in the mirror. And I, that sounds horrible, but I mean, really, I was just very fascinated with the way that my mouth moved and the whole idea of, you know, being able to see the way I, that I physically was when I was speaking and everything like that, but my siblings just thought it was absolutely ridiculous that I was that vain. And of course now I spend all of my time talking about myself on the internet, so <laughs> I guess they were right. Um, no, I mean, I obviously think that my blog has helped me accomplish a lot, it's just that <laughs> I'm going to be the first one to tell you that I'm clearly very narcissistic, otherwise I wouldn't ha be able to or want to just talk about myself all the time. And, you know, God bless you guys for being as delusional as you are for going along with it. 
even though I've probably lost like 15 readers just because I've attempted to do this video log thing. <laughs> anyway, um, I did put out a little holler on Facebook and Twitter um, asking if anyone had any questions or feedback um, or suggestions for the vlog. <laughs> um, just because, you know, I've never done one. Uh, I got two questions, so I shall address those and make this at least partially functional. First question had to do with um, how I meet my daily caloric limits, or how I stay within my daily caloric limits when I'm counting calories. So um, it definitely took a while. Um, I don't really count throughout the day as much anymore as I do um, tally up at the end of the day. But before, what I would do is I would have to basically plan out my meals knowing what kind of stuff I would be putting in them. So, I, you know, for dinner, I would know that I'm going to eat roughly a 400-calorie dinner or whatever. Um, now, I follow more along the lines of like, well, okay, this is everything that I've eaten, and this is just kind of how I ended up. Because obviously, eventually, I'd like to end up in a, a place of intuitive eating. Um, so it's just a lot of trial and error. It's about knowing what snacks work for you. This Lara bar is 200 calories. This, you know, chicken and pasta dish, you know, usually when you make it is usually like 350. This dessert that you bake is, you know, 500 calories a serving. Like, don't eat that. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. Um, the other question that I received had to do with blogging and um, uh, increasing your blog traffic. So I'm like not an expert at this at all. Uh, I don't even know why anyone would want to know from me because <laughs> my traffic is definitely nothing to write home about. But I definitely have found that in terms of just blog interaction and everything like that, the things that people are looking for is consistency and communication. And then obviously having the content to back that up. So I post every day, Monday through Friday, unless I'm like on vacation or something like that. I try to get my posts up around 8.30 or even earlier. Obviously sometimes that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, and I try to maintain consistent content. Uh, content. Um, that being said, I also think communication is a big part of that. So I try to respond to comments on my blog, comment on other people's blogs, be active on Twitter, Facebook, etc. You know, you're fostering relationships here, and that's what's so awesome about blogging in the first place. I mean, I never thought that I would be a proponent of this in any way, but you guys probably saw that post, the entire post that I dedicated to why I love blogging so much, and I mean, it's all true. So um, those are the two questions that I have received as of yet. Uh, if anyone happens to come up with anything else, um, maybe I will revisit this whole vlogging thing in the future. Uh, again, I'm really sorry if this was crazy awkward and I just sucked out eight minutes of your life. <laughs> but hopefully this is at least a little bit fun for you. Definitely feel free to weigh in on the hair, on the vlog itself, on either of the two things that I discussed in terms of questions, comments, just commenting about how cute Dexter is or how annoying it is that he was like digging on the floor the entire time that I was doing this. <laughs> and please don't leave me. Okay. <laughs> Signing off. Um, have a great Tuesday.